we would understand gafas. I mean, we would get it. We just rarely say it. <laughs> this is a funny one. Love handles. In Mexico, we call them llantitas or llantas, which literally means wheels. But in Spain, people call them rolls of fat. <laughs> in Spain, los michelines. Okay, from from the the brand, the tire brand Michelin. So it is linked to llantitas, which are little tires. Llantitas. Uh -huh. <laughs> but Michelin, Michelin tires, yeah. Um, in the UK now, they're called muffin tops. Muffin tops. <laughs> okay. I thought they were love handles. Love handles, yeah. Jeff mentioned love handles, love but handles, now yeah. they're starting to call it muffin top because oh, muffins, yeah. you know, the way a muffin has the top like that, yeah, over the top of your jeans. Okay. When you make fun for, of a nerd at school, in Mexican, in Mexico, we would say nerd, which is like nerd, or we could use, also use the words matadito or matado, which means like self-killed because he, like he kills himself studying, or we would use the word ñoño, which is pretty much the same, sounds a bit, but in Spain, people would call them nerd. A nerd is, uh, in Spain, un empollón. Okay. This word sounds really weird. Actually, when I, when we watch uh, TV shows with Spanish dub, it's a bit weird to to hear empollón because like, what what's that? Okay, empollón. And what's the root of that word, Cynthia? I don't know, but empollar is what um, chickens do when they lay the eggs and they stay on ah, them okay. for a long time. That's empollar. And that's I suppose that's what you do. You just go like that with the books. Right. Maybe that's mm -hmm. him. Maybe that's why. Mm -hmm. It's em um, empollón. Okay. Or not. Sandals are called in Mexico chanclas. Well, in Spain. Sandals, Cynthia. Sandals in Spain are sandalias. Las sandalias. Okay. And just out of interest, uh, Jeff mentioned the word chanclas. Chanclas does exist in Spain, yes. but what are they? Chanclas are flip-flops. Flip-flops, yeah. And you know the Frenchman, uh, what he was called? He invented them, chanclas. He was called Philippe Philop. Okay. Really? No. Oh, it's a joke. It. It's a joke. That's right. weird. Philippe I thought the name came from that. I was like... <laughs> What a weird okay. name as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, we understand the word sandalias. It's just that, I don't know, chancla sounds funny and we use it more often. When we don't want to dress up, we just want to stay home to do, just to watch TV or because we're sick, we andamos en fachas. We just dress up just with slippers and our pajamas or something like that. And that in fachas. But in Spain, people call it. Cynthia. When you're at home and you want to be relaxed, what clothing are you going to typically put on? Um, I would say in Spain, voy a ponerme cómoda, and then I would put my pyjamas on. El pijama. El pijama, typically, Typically, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you were putting on a um, um, comfortable clothes, what are they, like a tracksuit, what's that called? A tracksuit in Spain is un, un chandal, to do exercise. Or... Chandal. Do a sport. Okay, but that isn't typically what people would wear at home. Un chandal? No, I suppose chandal is to do sports. Okay. If you go to, if you come to Mexico and you ask for directions and someone tells you to go straight ahead, people will call you vete derecho. People will tell you vete derecho. Just go straight, derecho. But in Spain, people will tell you... Straight on, Cynthia. In Spain? Todo recto. Okay, and derecho, can you use that? Si, sí, derecho. Derecho is the same, straight. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, it's more common to say todo recto. Okay. Okay, todo recto sounds weird. When we think of recto, we think of anus. So, it would sound weird. Like people would tell you, it sounds like go to the anus or something like that. So, it would sound weird. Now, we have two words that are interesting and are related but are quite different. Number one, to stock hops or snobs in Mexico, they are called uh, cremosos, like creamy. Actually, we have an expression like ponerle crema a los tacos, which is put cream on your tacos, and it means like act stock up, 
or snobbishly. But in Spain, people would use the word stuck up. Stuck up. In Spain, was stuck up? Ah, of course. Uh, in Spain, is estirado. Oh, estirado would be understandable, but it's just not very used. We would actually use more cremoso. Another word that it's similar, but it's it's somehow different, is the word fresa. Fresa, it's a specific kind of stuck-up person. It's a Mexican uh, young person, which is too into fashion. We will explain that later. I know I've been promising this, but we'll explain it in another video, more in detail. It's a Mexican, like a preppy person. But in Spain, they are called but when I lived in Mexico, I remember um, people talking about uh, a person being una fresa, una, un fresa, a boy. So that, this is the young, stuck-up people. What do you say in Spain? Um, in Spain, pijo o pija. Mm. Pijo, pija. Mm -hmm. When there is a traffic jam in Mexico, we would say there's hay mucho tráfico. There's a lot of traffic that's what we say but in spain people would say it traffic jam cynthia in spain atasco el atasco okay what do you call the um the rush hour la hora punta mm. so there are lots of atascos in la hora punta the, the particularly in madrid absolutely zipper and we're going intimate for zipper in spanish we call it cierre but in Spain it's called zipper. Zip. Zipper. Zip. In in Spain, la cremallera. Or la bragueta. Bragueta. Oh. Bragueta is for the trousers. Uh huh. That's la bragueta. But then any other zip is cremallera. Okay. I'm just out of interest. Completely off the off the theme, but the word zip in Arabic is very rude. So now, is that true? Is that it's a joke? True. That I don't no, no, it's really right. true. <laughs> it means penny. Really? Yeah. Okay. Now, to finish, female underwear is called quite different from Mexico, in Mexico and in, in Spain. In Mexico, we will call bra, brasier, and the underpants will be called either panties or calzón, which literally means underpants. It's a more generic word. But in Spain, these are called underwear now. Underwear. Women's underwear. Bra. El sujetador. Sujetador. Knickers. Las bragas. And then underpants. Los calzoncillos. So I, I noticed the difference between Mexico they say calzón and then it's, it has a diminutive in Spain. Calzoncillos. Calzoncillos. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If you say calzón, calzones, uh, we know what it is. Mm -hmm. But we tend to say calzoncillos. Mm -hmm. And just out of interest. In, certainly in England, you can buy a pizza called calzoni pizza, okay? And the reason that it's called calzoni is because the pizza's folded over and it looks like a pair of underpants. And I bet it has the same root. Wow, I'm gonna... I'm not Remember gonna, that. Yeah. Don't order I'm not one. gonna look at it the same way anymore. No. And it has all the meat in the middle. Never and it bulges that. out. Okay. Wow. I'll just have regular pizza next time there. <laughs> no, don't open it. <laughs> so this is it for today. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot to Gordon and or Cynthia for help for being in this video. Thank you very much, Jeff. That's been really good Gracias. fun. And yes, if you'd like to visit our, our website, it's Lightspeed Spanish. Uh, you'll see the link down below, and which is filled with uh, lots and lots of podcasts all about Spanish in Spain. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Hasta luego. Adios. And also, if you want to check more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to zmg for you and become a Tapatio Virtual. Also, don't forget to share this video with everyone you know. And, and have a great time. Goodbye.